everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is another project from the um, Hobby Base Club and this is using um, all the leftover bits and pieces from the January kit because for those of you that have been following I got the January kit um, later on and um, then I got my February kit and I still had loads of January stuff left over so that's what I'm gonna share with you today so the kits are great um, I'll share all the unboxing um, tutorial um, videos below this um, in the description below this one so you can just see exactly what I did get and any day now I'm gonna get my March box so I can't wait but this is using a really fun technique which is just using um, double-sided sticky tape and the glitter and you can see here it creates an absolutely gorgeous background and the glitter isn't falling off everywhere because it's such fine glitter that you receive you can see it here it's not coarse at all it's so so soft and um, so it sticks so well to the um, the tape and it's just beautiful I've used one of the hobby base dies here to create that lovely 3d butterfly and then here is the congratulations this is the pack of stickers which come in the kit and I said back in the end of January that I will use every single bit of my scraps and this gold here was from a piece of A5 card and I kept that and it's lovely now because it's kind of framed that, that sentiment and um, yeah I really love that one. This is another one again more simple with just the stripes and again lovely sticker sentiment there and then I've just I had some scrap of this purple glitter which matched the glitter of the stickers perfectly and that's a little sticker there, a butterfly, so I've done that one. Again, they are just when they catch the light, they are so pretty. And then this one is using the same technique again, but this time with the stripes on the um, diagonal. And this is using the birdcage die. And again, I've die cut that. This is the birdcage die is from the February kit. And then the paper that I've die cut it from is from January. And again, the sticker there just for you and again I just absolutely go love these gorgeous so really really easy to do but it's just a nice fun way to create really fun backgrounds with again you know limited supply so if you are as I always say I'm always conscious that some people are always starting off um, you know you can still create these lovely things um, when not having everything um, and the kits are great so um, I was something I always use embossing powders but I don't use a lot of glitters but since receiving the glitter it kind of makes you you know use these other things so this is um, Hunky Dory's Diamond Sparkles and it's the Penny Copper colour now you always get three cards in every kit and across the January and February I had six card bases so this is just one of the six by six card bases that came in the kit um, and then what I've done is just some from some of my own card is I've made a mat which is five and three quarters by five and three quarters and that's what I'm going to be working on and then I stick that on top on some um, double um, sided foam um, adhesive and it will then just give me you can see there I've got this nice lifted look and it just gives that quality feel again to your cards so I'll leave the base to one side for the minute and um, I found that using the red tape is better than just normal standard um, double-sided tape. I use the Scotch brand. Um, it still works, but I find that the, the glitter stuck so quickly and instantly, um, and I didn't really have to spend too much time on it, whereas with the more standard kind of tear tape, double-sided tapes, you might have to kind of work it a little bit more and maybe keep applying it and rubbing it with your finger and stuff, but um, you'll still get a nice effect. So this one I'm going to do... I'm going to do this design but then crisscross so I'm going to do it twice so I won't show you everything I'll just show you how you start off um, and then I can go through that process so what I do on the angle put it on the side here if you're just doing normal um, you know horizontal vertical stripes you just start from the top then put one through the middle and one at the bottom and then the middle of that the middle of that and so on that way you know that you're getting equal um, you know uh, gaps so this time I'm going to pop this one on the side like so and I'm going to do my first one now once this one you have to cut the edges of your tape but once you've done this middle piece your tape will be at the right angle once I do it it makes sense to then just carry on and do all the rest so this first one don't use your best scissors for this because obviously you're cutting sticky um, tape but you just need to just very carefully just cut it like so just so you get a nice edge okay, like so and then I'm going to do my next one to one side here. So sorry, it's once you do the next one that you can get the right edge. So just spend some time just obviously hovering it over. 
cut this one here just right along, just lining my scissors up with the side of the card there. As you can see, see they get covered. You can clean them all off easily. Now with this edge, if you cut it nice and neat, like so, now it's already on an angle, that piece of tape. So now rotate it to the next side and you can lie your tape right down against the edge of the card once you've got it where you want it and then go all the way across. And again, cut it on that angle, like so, and then rotate it. Uh, yeah, I'm going back around. Yeah, that's right, and go to the top. <laughs> and again, just line it all up. So this is the longest part, really. It's just that kind of prep. Um, but I quite like sometimes just having this kind of fun, messy crafting as such because um, most of the paper craft I do is quite tidy but I like getting, uh, getting a bit messy every now and then yeah then it'd be the bottom in fact I don't need to rotate it I just go up and down up and down and again and you just want to keep working one on the top one on the bottom and just keep lifting it up looking at it making sure you're happy with those lines and um, like I said do this whole piece and that will give you just that look there so just the the, you know the um, single stripes whereas I'm going to do the grid effect so I'm going to finish this way and then I'm going to start sticking across this way and um, I think it just again just create quite a fun look so I'm going to carry on and get all of these stuck down okay so that's that now all done so I'm just going to go over with my bone folder and with the red tape you'll see little white kind of bubbles you want to make sure you push all them out because that means then the tapes securely stuck down um, to the surface that you've put it on so I'm just going over that there just making sure all those air bubbles are all pushed out and that's all stuck down then you want to go along and lift all this off just as you would as if you're just doing obviously this is just going to be your single stripes um, but in order to get the grid effect you need to take this all off and then stick over the top <coughs> okay, again. Okay so that's all the backing off now so you can just grab your glitter put some paper underneath and sprinkle it all over and that will give you this effect. So now I'm going to carry on though and do the grid. So now I want to go from this corner to this corner. So just as you did at the beginning. And again just carefully cut off your corners there and then just go along now and do exactly the same as you did before. Okay so that is now all taken off. Sorry I just got bits of the red, it's all static. So grab some scrap paper to catch all the glitter, like so. And then I'm literally going to just pour it right the way over. Make sure you cover the whole okay, area. So I've just emptied the whole pot onto it and then you need to get a little bit messy and just rub it over. And like I said, with the red I found I just only had to briefly do this. Um, and it's, you know, it's all stuck. All I'm doing really is just making sure it's all on those edges it's kind of all sealed and you can feel obviously if you'd missed anything I mean there's so much on here I know it's all going to get covered um, but with the um, normal double sided tape I was kind of having to rub it a little bit more like that whereas this you don't have to so I'm now again just feeling make sure all my edges are covered there and then just lift it up knock off all the excess and in a minute I'm going to use a brush just to brush any bits out of the squares, but you can see now what a gorgeous background. I absolutely love that. Looks like a, a trellis of a fence or something. So this would be great now for like Easter themes. You could have little bunnies and you could have some Easter eggs and things like that. And I think that would look really nice as a cool Easter background. So I'm just gonna clear all this mess okay, away. So just cleared up. But now all you wanna do is I've just got a rough old little like, kiddies brush here and just brush over just so you get the glitter out of those little white squares or whatever you, whatever white areas you have because once you brush it off I found you get very little I mean on any glittery card even shop brought ones you get a little bit of it coming off it's inevitable but with this finer glitter I find it sticks and it doesn't really come off at all I haven't used your more thicker coarse glitters um, like your kids glitters and stuff because I know this technique would work but you might find you get more of it dropping off and I'm just literally just going over and just feeling for any sticky areas it's very similar to the foil technique and I'll share that one 
um, in this tutorial, like so. But yeah, already now, none of it's gone back into the white areas. Once you brush it off, I say it, it's gone. So I'll just bring that up now. Oh, really, really lovely background. So these again are great kind of crafty things to do if you're, I don't know, just feeling a bit, you don't know what to make. You could just sit here one afternoon and just make lots of backgrounds and get into lots of mess. And that's for me what it's all about. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna trim ever so slightly down this side here because where the next lot of kind of squares have started, I've got little bits of white areas there. So I'm just gonna trim that very carefully with my scissors. Okay, so now I'm gonna pop some foam backing onto this because I wanna mount this onto my card base. So again, just popping a few strips along my card. Just to make sure I've got a nice even border because I just trimmed it back slightly so I'll make sure I get it the right way. But you can see I'm putting all that pressure on it and there's still no glitter gone into the white and you can see my hands there's hardly any glitter on them at all so once it's stuck it's stuck. Okay so I have literally got these are scraps so I've got this little piece of acetate, I've got this little piece here, this little piece here feel like I'm about to sing a nursery rhyme. Um, I have die cut the birdcage. I wanted to use the birdcage on this one. And the sentiment I want to use from the stickers is thinking of you. So what I'm gonna do is what I've done on the this one here is I've stuck this sticker mounted on a piece of this acetate and I'm gonna do the same. Then I'm just gonna fussy cut around it and it actually gives a really nice effect. So I'm just gonna stick it and I'll stick it down here. So again, I can keep using Give myself a nice little border, like so. And then just very carefully, just cut off the main bulk of it. And literally, just gonna go around, giving myself about a one eighth of an inch border, and just fussy cut around the outside. Okay, so now I've just fussy cut that, and it's one of these things you, maybe, yeah, you can just make it out there, but you'll see it better in the photos. But it just, it just frames it, it just gives it a little bit more. So that is gonna be, this card, I'm gonna have the birds, like so. And then I did use up all the ribbon. Um, it comes with this string, so I may well use that, but I think I want a little bit of color. So I think I'm gonna add, I've just raided my own stash here um, of this turquoise color. Um, although I want to add some of these little embellishments, um, little stickers, sorry. And I'd like to do something with this as well. So I'm just gonna have a little play around. Okay, so what I've done is I've just made this little dumpy little bow with some purple because I'm gonna add in this purple flower. So I just, again, just raided my kind of scrap ribbon drawer there. So I'm gonna have this up here, that like so. And just kind of, I call it like a little cluster, kind of create a little kind of um, piece that then can be just sat into the middle of your, um, I just want to make sure you can obviously see what it says, might have to do it that way actually, maybe that's going to be better, let's try that one. Okay instead. so now I've changed again so I'm going to have that like that and then because this is acetate and you're sticking it on glitter I always find it better to use um, foam rather than um, like glues and things because because it is basically plastic otherwise being stuck on plastic so I just find the foam sits a little bit better, so I'm just overlapping that at the bottom of the little bit of cage use there. These little flowers. Again, although they're already, um, you know, they're, they are sticky because they're stickers, I'm going to put some more foam on top because I want this quite dimensional so it all sits together. That one's going to go at the bottom there. And then the little heart, cut an even smaller piece down. Now I'm going to add another little purple one as well. I've got another little sticker here. And you can just kind of just have fun building it up. This is the bit I really like about making cards. It's kind of, you can just add it. Once you've got your kind of idea and you've got your main bit in place, you can then go ahead and just have fun with it. I'm just putting another little bit of foam backing onto this one and I'm going to put this one up there, it's just on the top of the T 
and they're all on foam so it all sticks lovely to that glitter. But there you have it, an absolutely gorgeous. I'd love to receive that, I think that's such a pretty card. Um, and I've still got a tiny little piece there, a little bit of acetate and a load of stickers. Um, and I've got some wood um, letters as well still left over, these ones here. So there's still bits from the kit, but that I just absolutely adore. So I hope you like this um, technique. Um, again, I, I hope you agree, the results are stunning just so glittery and bling and yeah I absolutely love it. So there you go, if you are interested in um, joining the Hobby, ba Hobby Base Club and subscribing to receive the monthly kits, I'll share all those links in the video description below. But until next time, please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed today's tutorial and subscribe to the channel to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.